Hello everyone, this is MKW Raw here, back again with another video, and we have another video on the Nubia Z60 Ultra, and today is actually a pretty exciting video, because we finally have AOSP-based custom ROMs. You can see here, I am running Lineage OS, and let me just show you the about phone real quick. I'm not going to show my IMEIs. Um... Yeah, there you have it. Android 15, Lineage OS, unofficial. Um, this was released yesterday. Yesterday, this was made available for download. Now, this video is not going to be a flashing tutorial because it's not quite there yet. There are still a lot of things that don't work on this ROM properly. As you may have noticed at the beginning of the video, I didn't use my fingerprint. I typed my PIN code, and that is because the fingerprint sensor is not working and there are a few more issues that have to be ironed out for example the slider here does absolutely nothing um, the brightness sliders is a bit funky like it goes all the way but it doesn't like actually do anything until you get it here and you see how I'm adjusting the brightness without it moving like yeah it's definitely not a perfect ROM at this stage but this is literally the first pill that was ever released and what's important works. The performance is absolutely amazing, much better than pretty much any other thing you could possibly run on this phone. Um, it feels much smoother, much nicer, much snappier than stock. And let me also show you guys some benchmarks. So we'll go in and to the real quick and this is the score that I had which is a very good score it is on par with the stock ROM and considering there's no like gaming launcher here or something this is uh, this is very good yeah actually the only thing the fancy gaming launcher did was just tune up your CPU and GPU frequencies but you can just do that manually yourself using a kernel manager and all you have to do is go here and just choose performance and all the CPU governors and you'll pretty much achieve the same thing. So don't worry, you're not you're not missing out. You're really not missing out on anything. The Nubia game launcher is pretty much just there for show. Some other things that I would like to mention are, as I said, the the flashing process is a bit weird. It's not like any other ROM you flashed before. Let me tell you that. <laughs> so if you want to give this a try, I will put the link right here on screen right now join the telegram chat there is downloads and there is instructions over there also I I think someone on the group reported Bluetooth audio not working but again these are all minor issues that are gonna be ironed out in time I just wanted to make this video to show you guys that we finally have an AOSP based custom ROM on the Nubia Z60 Ultra so, um, yeah, uh, for now I have it rooted with Magisk. Oh, there is another bug that I almost forgot to mention about. Um, when I first flashed this, it was randomly switching my refresh rate from 120Hz to 90Hz. And there is no refresh rate toggle in the settings. So if I go here to display, yeah, there, there is no refresh rate toggle. So what I had to do was... I had to use an ADB command to force it to always be 120 hertz. And if I ever do want to use 60 hertz, I can just go battery saver and that makes it 60 hertz regardless of what the minimum value that I set it is. I'll just throw up the ADB command on screen right now if anyone wants to flash this early build. But honestly, I would recommend that you wait for Alex to release another build which hopefully fixes some of these bugs but if you really just want to try AOSP on this device then yeah by all means uh, go flash it because it is more than usable it is as I said it is very very snappy incredibly snappy incredibly smooth I absolutely love it and this is much better than the stock ROM uh, for the moment we don't have the Nubia camera app working but we do have Gcam and let me show you something funny like if you try taking a selfie, um, hold on, hello? Yeah, if you try taking a selfie, it's gonna bleed through the screen, like that's not gonna work. 
there isn't an overlay for the camera and anyway, you can you can see what it looks like through the screen which is actually pretty cool but yeah as i said these are all things that are going to be ironed out and the future is looking bright for this phone now that we finally have custom rom support and that is pretty much all i had for you today guys um yeah as i said this isn't a tutorial this is just me showing you the rom sh telling you about it telling you that it's out there and uh yeah, stay tuned because it's going to get much better than this. See ya.